Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another video. Let me just demonstrate what went down like three minutes ago. I have three different memory cards and I tried each one and all of them kept saying like no space on it so I kept doing this. No space. Oh, okay. Change it out. No space. Change it out. No space. Okay, finally. Yeah. So basically that's what was happening right now. I'm at Starbucks right now getting my breakfast in because I'm gonna go to the gym right after clean my car edit like crazy today is crazy editing slash schoolwork day I'm just gonna lock myself up in a Starbucks not this one this is the weird one that I always come to and I tell you guys like stories about but it's also really cold in there like they turn on the AC and look it's like cloudy right now so I'm not down with that so somewhere that's a little bit more maybe somewhere that has a fireplace why can't Starbucks have a fireplace do your Starbucks have a fireplace I would like a Starbucks with a fireplace I'm always cold which I don't know why that is but yeah I'm gonna do that right now I was just eating in my car and I was watching Brawadis this video is so funny, like, oh look, it's you guys, if you recognize yourself in the Snapchat, say hello, you're being featured. But anyways, I'm watching Barwadis because it's just so hilarious, like, he's doing this dare with his family, and was dying of laughter, he's so funny. But yeah, then I'm gonna head up the gym, so thanks for joining in today. Guys, go and check this video out. It's so hilarious. And I love Bosley. I wish I had like Bosley to like squeeze. Like he's such like a squeezy like dog. I'd probably kill him, but that would be a bad idea. But this is so funny. What's up, guys? How's it going? Um, currently, whoa, look at this tree actually. It's pretty cool. I j whoa. Why'd you guys change in darkness? Okay, so. I'm actually trying to find a location where I can record my video because I'm wearing my gym clothes. This is my new Adidas clothes, by the way. But I wanted to film like my Adidas haul video. Might as well have all the stuff right here because, um, because yeah, I want to show you guys what I got a bunch of sneakers and everything. And then after, I'm going to send out. The Ultra Boost that you guys, one of you guys bought. I think your name is Gregory. Hopefully, you don't mind saying your name here. But yeah, Gregory, or undisclosed person. I'm sending it out because I received your payment. So that's going out. And I love this. Like, I'm so glad I bought this gym stuff. Like, you guys have no idea how bad condition my gym wear was. Hi, guys. Somehow, in some way, I managed to record this video. Here's my whole setup, so check it out on the main channel. It should be up by the time this video is up, but I have no idea how it went because as you guys can see, the sun is really weird. By the time I found my location, it was like, it's 12, it's noon right now, so this is the worst time to film. I'm hoping that it goes good, but at the end of the day, all you guys need to see is the clothing, not my face in these videos, so if there's like a shadow, I hope that's okay. So I'm gonna place you guys here while I clean up. And then I need to get to the gym because the double smoked bacon sandwich that I had today is like 500 calories, but it's noon right now and I had it at like 10. So I feel like it's most likely all digested, which means that I'm going to have no fuel for the gym, which is not going to be good. I'm just going to quickly put everything away. I am obsessed with these shoes, by the way, these NMD Earths, I think they're called. Look how nice it is. I always wanted the beige NMD, but obviously I can't get it and it's prime knit, so it's probably like $300. But this one was really nice and I don't know if they have these anymore actually because I went on a release day. So, but if you guys want them, just look up NMD Earth and see if they still sell them. Okay, so I shipped the Ultra Boost. Hopefully you get them soon. Now I'm gonna go to the gym. What's up guys, just got done at the gym, ready to go. So I decided actually that today will be the day that we do our Ikea vlog because I actually need some stuff from Ikea. So I decided to go, I'm wearing this like denim shirt from Zara. It's like one of those, it's like a black denim shirt material, cream cut off from Top Men, jeans from Top Men, and then I finally busted out my NMD Earth. I think is what they're calling it and I love my favorite part is this pop of red 
Can you guys see it? At the back, I love the red. It kind of just like, there's a little tiny bit of red. So I think that's a really nice touch. It got a little hot right now. I feel like I can't talk. I feel like I'm saying it got a little hot right now. It got a little hot right now. And I got a smoothie. I got a Jamba, ju Jamba Juice. Why can't I talk? It's because I like, I worked out for like two hours, I feel like. Like the whole gym process. I feel like it took two hours of my day. And so, um, now that I'm talking again, I feel like, oh yeah, this is the orange mango banana smoothie with whey protein they added in here. So thank you, Jumbo Juice. I have a Jumbo Juice in my gym, so that's why. Here it is, Ikea. One of my favorite places in the world. Here you have the flag of the US, Sweden, and California. Very festive, very patriotic. It literally feels like you're going to like an airport and like the United Nations when you come to IKEA. Like what is this United Nations vibe we have going here, IKEA? I guess it's nice. It's like majestic. I feel like I'm going to the UN to get my furniture. Okay, why am I getting a cart? We're going upstairs. So, I don't know how your Ikeas are situated, but ours, there's two floors, and at the top floor is like the showroom where they set up everything. The bottom is like the warehouse, and at the top is the restaurant. So, I'm going first there because I'm starving. But I'll see the showroom, I'll give it a chance. So, this is the showroom. What I like about up here is like it gives you ideas, like you don't even have to buy Ikea things. You could just come to this kitchen and be like, hey, I could like design my kitchen like this or like you know my favorite is these like little houses that they make I would love to like have one of these this is just like perfect size house for one person See, this is like huge here I am. But yeah, like imagine this as a house. Like, this would be a perfect size for me. Cool. See, like I have all this room. If you guys ever need to like come over, you can sleep on this couch. But yeah, I honestly think that in the future I'll probably have a house like that size like even if I have money don't have money like that's the size of house that I want I want it to be modern though like that and like nice like really nice but small let me show you guys the outfit of the day by the way so my hat my Zara shirt this cut off from Topman Topman jeans and All Saints shoes which I can't stop wearing ever since I got I'm obsessed with them and this denim like good quality denim really stacks well when you're wearing them like see how they sit really impressed but yeah that's my outfit and then also my bracelet you guys see it and my hat okay cool i feel like i want to buy this little thing for my tv the problem is however i hate installing things like i hate the installation process, I always take shortcuts and everything that I make usually ends up breaking. So I want something that's like ready made for me, I just throw it in my car, take it to my room and put everything on it. But no, Ikea, you have to like build everything and I build it like this bookshelf. If I were to build this, it would not stand up, it would be slanted and then like if you touched it, like the whole thing would collapse to the ground and turn into sawdust. Like that's how bad I am at installing things it's not that i'm bad it's just i'm very impatient i want my product so this is a why the ikea is a big turn off to me sometimes you guys might be wondering why are you here Nils? well i'll tell you in one second guys corporate thank you i have no idea how excited i am for this meal cornbread Meatballs, I'm gonna die. Okay guys, this is like my favorite meal of the century right now. I'm having and then 
Ikea coffee after and then an ice cream after maybe. I don't know, I'm being bad. But seriously, like being here is like you feel so happy and alive and welcome and like look at how nice this is I feel like this is how Sweden is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Sweden seems like such a nice place to live. Everything seems so clean and organized and like artistic. Like there's a lot of art with any Swedish, like even like the lowest, cheapest thing Swedish Sweden makes, there's so much design into it. And is that something about the Swedish Swedes that I would love to visit, visit Sweden? But um, please comment down below if you're from Sweden or have been there ever, because I'd like to visit that region sometimes. How is it? How's the weather? How's like, how's life? How do you like it? So yeah, and how's Ikea over there? But yeah, now I'm gonna eat this. It was literally like four or five minutes. I ate it all. Gotta eat your vegetables. No. Left all my vegetables on purpose. Do you see that? All my vegetables. Left them on purpose and ate the good stuff. There's still some like cornbread left here. So basically if like someone wanted to kidnap me or like alter my mind or get information from me they would have to just cook me a Thanksgiving meal and let me eat it and then while I'm eating they could just ask me questions because time went by so fast while I was eating this and yeah, now I'm gonna have their coffee but I'm, I wanna ask them if they have a to-go cup it's like, I'm not at my house guys, I'm at my like store but yeah I don't know why IKEA had to be weird about its coffee but I guess they only have like dine-in coffee can't for it to go. So I guess that's something we'll have to take into account. Let's get some here. We'll just have some right now. I'm not a big, I only actually like hot coffee out of a mug. Which is a bit weird, but I only like it out of a mug. I don't like hot coffee and to-go cups. I don't know why. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna go downstairs now to the like product section, and then you know that I want a ice cream to go. But I'm just like looking around here, seeing if there's anything that's convenient. Plugs, no, 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 squeegee. First off, getting these hangers. I love wooden hangers personally. So that's why I'm getting them. And these ones from Ikea are good. The ones I have are half Target, half Ikea. These are like lighter color, but I guess it'll work. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I've always wanted this dog on my bed. Is that weird? I got rid of that stupid cart. All the time, whenever I get a cart from Ikea, it like starts wobbling around. Guys, I think I'm gonna buy this stick thing because it's like a coat rack. It's only $30. Like I can hang my hoodies and my like denim jacket and everything off it. It'll just be like on the corner of my room and then I could hang my backpacks here because I have three of them. I think this would be a good thing and I think I don't have to install it. Where can I find you, stick creature? Okay, so I want to get that coat hanger. But I don't know how to get it. This is like the warehouse portion. And so I have the instructions here. It says aisle 7. Okay, so the aisles are here actually. Aisle 7. Wait, what? Where's 7? Oh, it's odds and even. Okay, so here's aisle 7. It's probably going to be still like I'll have to install something. Can't get away with IKEA, but this thing is going to make my life really easier because I can like hang all my backpacks and everything. So let's see here. Where is it? I'll. Oh, we went too far, guys. I found it. It's called Knip. 
Pinnipe. Pinnipe. So, oh my god. I had no idea IKEA did Christmas. But this early? This is not Christmas time. It's not even Thanksgiving yet. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> okay, well, I just had a little meltdown. But it's gonna be okay. These corporations like to push Christmas very fast. I had no idea IKEA did Christmas though. Whenever you come to IKEA though, please check out this 50% section. Because you can find a lot of good stuff that has been opened for cheap. And you know where we at now to get some ice cream. I've always wanted to try these like potato chips that they have though. I might get one. Actually, what I'll do is I've always wanted to come in here and try some Swedish snacks. But whenever we come here, my family say no, no, no. None of this. So I'm gonna try some and give you guys a review about it. I just love European stuff. I don't know what it is. I know a lot of like Europeans always tell me like we love American like goods like mac and cheese and stuff and and then we look at them as Americans and we're like really? But then they probably look at us the same way. Like I'm like here dying over this stuff and they're like really? You like our cheap like I don't know. But let me know if this stuff is good. Cardamom crisp roll. That sounds really good. So I ate most of it as I was walking thousand steps. It literally is like an airport, but I also got some stuff. We'll do a little IKEA haul and I'll tell you how it tastes. Okay, so briefly I'm going to tell you guys the stuff that I got. So I got the ice cream obviously, but I also got potatis chips. That's what it says, potatis chips. So Swedish potato chips. Wanted to see what the difference was and if there is a difference. Mm -hmm. These are really good. They're not very oily, which is great, but they taste like kettle chips. You know kettle chips, they're like but these ones are the same thing, but remove the oil, so they're really dry when you eat them. It feels like those baked chips from Lay's, but a little bit crunchier and a tiny bit more oil. Oh no. I don't want to spill ice cream. And then I also got these little pastry things with jam in them. I love jam, if you guys didn't know. I'm a huge fan of jam. And anything that has jam in it, I'm a fan of. Not all jam, some jams. Gotta be selective with the jams you like. So this is to wash my car. A little pastry treat with jam in it. Mmm, mmm. <laughs> it's like buttery, but then it has huge amounts of jam in there. This is like raspberry jam. Someone's having a fight. And then lastly, I got this, dime. I don't know if this is Swedish or what. Where is this made in? Sweden? I don't know, let me know where dime is made. But dime was like the, cho the featured chocolate in Ikea. Like everywhere you went, it was like dime this, dime that. Oh, it's a little bar. I like that. So let's see what this dime is all about. Mm. What is this? For those of you that eat dime, tell me what I'm eating. It's like chocolate, but there's something else. Is it almond? What is this dime? It's really good though. Wow. 
Really good stuff. But yeah, that was my IKEA video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't let you down and you liked it. But I'm just gonna finish this stuff up and get going. So until next time, peace.